Logitech is probably who I would consider the king emperor god of mice, but not headphones. But have they made a headphone that finally might take the budget tier uh, crown? I don't know, let's find out. This is the Logitech G435 headset. And uh, this is actually a pretty exciting piece of hardware. Uh, it's Logitech's newest entry into the budget space of headphones. I'm gonna start with this one because this is probably the one I like the most. Uh, comes in at $80 US. Uh, it's a pretty standard headset. It's wireless. It has an, a USB-A dongle, uh, but can also connect to your PC, your PlayStation, and your phone. It's got Bluetooth and light speed. I believe this is the first uh, Logitech, certainly the first budget Logitech wireless headset that can connect both Bluetooth and light speed, which is a pretty compelling thing. This thing is light. Holy smokes. I don't know if that's indicative of quality or not, but it feels good. But oh boy, uh, they say that it comes in at 165 grams. There you go, spot on, 164, holy. Uh, I really like this color. I think that's pretty cool, purple, pink, blue. It's kind of like playful cyberpunk. I mean, you're gonna choose the color you like. I also like the, the lilac off-white. And the black and uh, neon's probably what I'd pick just because I'm gross and uh, I make everything look dirty really easily. <laughs> The padding here is pretty good. That feels like memory foam. You can see how slow it is to squish back. Uh, that's not necessarily the best. Padding at the top is nothing. There's literally no padding. It's like right onto um, plastic. But because it's so light, that's probably not a big deal. Um, inside, again, there's no fabric. It's just straight onto plastic. So if this padding is not doing great, your ears are gonna be touching plastic, which is, again, maybe not that strange for a cheap pair of headphones. There is no boom arm. There's instead dual beam forming microphones, uh, which helps keep it lighter. Yeah, I like these little cables. Uh, it's kind of a retro aesthetic. And there's something kind of retro gamery about the whole thing that I think it all comes together to be pretty pleasing. We got power, we got a volume rocker, we got microphone mute, and then we got our type C for charging, which is a great. They say that there's 18 hours worth of battery inside this headset, which would be very impressive if true. We're not gonna test that today, but so we'll just take them on faith, baby. Let's just get these peels, you know? <laughs> these are hard peels to get, holy. One of the nice things about this lineup of, of headphones is that they've tried to be as ecologically friendly as possible. Uh, they're they're paying for carbon offsets, so they're supposed to be one of the first carbon neutral headsets, which is pretty cool. I believe the headset they said is is at least 22% recycled plastics and the packaging as well. Uh, and it's a simple packaging. There's no plastic, it's all cardboard, which I am a fan of. There wasn't much else inside the box, but there was this little box, which is gonna have the little dongle. Oh, that's cute that it's color appropriate. I like that. Uh, you got your type A to C cable and your instruction manual. Not a sponsor. We got the other ones as well, um, just to see what they look like. Now that I have them out, I think these ones kind of look the cheapest. So I think I would actually probably pick between the black uh, and the white, off-white and lilac. Uh, and in fact, I think I'm gonna pick the lilac one. I really like the look of this. I'm super excited to try these out, see how they sound, see how they feel on my head, but first, a word from our sponsor, Jackery. Thanks to Jackery for sponsoring this video. Their Explorer 1500 portable power station has enough juice to keep all your devices powered and connected. Its huge 1500 watt hour capacity and 1800 watt output rate allows up to seven devices plugged in simultaneously. It takes only four hours to recharge from zero to 80%. Uh, check out the Explorer 1500 and get 10% off at the link below with our code Linus Tech Tips. Wow, that was easy. I plugged in the dongle, hit the power button, uh, and then it immediately connected. I think I might be out of juice though. Ha, <laughs> so much for 18 hours. <sighs> well, okay, already these don't feel great. <laughs> so I'm like, I need good padding because I have lots of earrings. Um, I'm, so sens I'm sensitive to like really good padding and like making sure there's not like pressure on a specific part of my ears. These are okay. These definitely aren't the worst that I've had. The, the, the cups feel like a little bit small for my ears. Um, and I think this would be fine to wear for extended periods, but it's not the kind of headset you're gonna wear comfortably for like seven, eight hours at a time. So, hey, maybe the battery lasts that long. You won't. 
That being said, it's so light that the fact that there's no pad on the top isn't a big deal. Uh, I could see it still be becoming like a bit annoying after rubbing or something. But overall, comfort's fine. Give it like a, a B minus. I gotta say, I'm kind of coming around to white peripherals. They do look pretty slick. All right, so it's working. This cable is just for power. Don't worry, you don't need it plugged in. <laughs> just a, a, a thing of note is that there is no aux cable, so it's wireless or nothing. You could do this if you ran out of juice, but uh, you're not gonna run it wired from a headphone jack, just, just to know. I can definitely hear you. It's, the sound isolation is pretty minimal. Like, speak to me just like at a normal volume. That's good. It's you. It, my weekend was good. The sound isolation is almost non-existent. Let's just test out the microphone. Let's see how it does. So one thing that is advertised on this headphone is that it's uh, Dolby Atmos and Tempest compatible. It means nothing. <laughs> Every headphone is Dolby Atmos and uh, Tempest compatible. As far as I understand, it's just that's more of like a computational side thing where it's processing the audio different and giving you better spatial audio. It's not a headphone side thing. That being said, it's nice having the sticker. You know, it's a cool sticker. Uh, in terms of other specs, it's a 40 millimeter driver. Uh, it's 20 to 20, like which is a pretty standard response range. So 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Um, again, these specs mean very little. We'll see how they actually sound. This is what the audio sounds like. I am clipping, uh, there's no auto volume, which is fine. I'm gonna bring my volume down into what looks more appropriate. Hello everyone, this is David, your radio host for Short Circuit today. Unfortunately, it won't sound like a radio voice, but I promise you, it's velvety, not smooth. That's not great, <laughs> that's not great. Uh, I don't know if that's like that Digitalization glitching is part of the the headphone to uh, receiver being like there's a desk in between, or if that's like a recording thing. But I don't think that's a recording thing. That's like a D. That's not good. Is it is it adjustable? Uh, it's not showing up in G Hub. I don't know if there is another way to get it. Often with Logitech stuff, there is no G Hub compatibility until it's out. Like I've I noticed that with a, a mouse or something where I wanted the compatibility, but until it was out, I just couldn't get it. Uh, so it's possible that there might be EQ stuff later, but I didn't see anything in the reviewers docket about customizing EQs. It's fine if you were gaming with friends. It's fine. All right, uh, let's see how it sounds though. We still haven't even tested the audio, so let's play some Apex. Yeah, these are totally decent. Like I can hear everything. I think like the mid bass is like a little forward. Um, I'm sure you could EQ it a little bit. I can hear a lot of little details and I'm kind of excited to see how these do. It sounds a little bit thin, but I, what I want to hear is if I'm like I'm not losing my competitive advantage of using like high end. Oh, I, why is it set to hold? That's why, because that's like a big reason for me, in my opinion, when you're playing competitive shooters to have really high end headphones, is that you get a lot better clarity, uh, not necessarily spatially, but in terms of like granularity of detail. So it it helps with placing yourself in the world. I don't know why I'm rushing into a fight with an RA45. Let's find out if this was a really bad choice. <laughs> bad choice. But yeah, okay, in terms of audio, it's still like not perfectly balanced. Like I, if I could go in with an EQ, I think I would like it a little bit, little bit better. Yeah, I can already feel the comfort level kind of diminishing. In terms of adjustability, it's not great. Uh, they say that these are designed for a small head and I don't have a particularly small head. So I can already feel, I wish I could extend uh, this a little bit more. Like there's no give, there's no play. They, there's a bit of adjustability kind of this way, but it, it'll be, plastic resisting against you, like the flex. Um, so it's not ideal. I'm really impressed with the audio quality of these headphones. Uh, I wanna go into something where it's a little more spatially aware, so I'm gonna pop into the PS5 and let's try it out there. Turning the PS5 on and off, plugging the thing in. It's already connected, this is really easy. So that's interesting, the volume control on your headphone, the volume control on the console is different. Uh, Sometimes that's kind of nice, but it's also kind of annoying. <laughs> okay, let's pop into Returnal, which is I think probably the best example of Tempest audio, which is Sony's answer to Atmos, uh, that they had to kind of pull out of their, their wazoo after Xbox bought two years of exclusive exclusivity, so. All right, it's been a long time since I've played this game. The big reason being they still don't have fucking save states. House marquee, house mark, I don't know how to say it. Put save states in f***ing Returnal. I'm so sick of this bullshit. On this soundscape, I feel like I'm missing a little bit of like the the crispness at the top end. Like that rain sounds good, 
but it doesn't sound quite like rain. It sounds like a little muted, and it's like uh, as if like the, the lower end of that sound is coming out a little too strong. It's not bad. Uh, and I feel like I'm getting a lot of detail, a lot of the kind of like the micro. It's also like the volume is pretty loud, uh, but because the sound isolation is not amazing, uh, you might have a problem just like getting it loud enough if you're in a loud room with other people. These sound good for $80 headphones though. I've got no complaints. Uh, I don't think the comfort's great. I don't think the microphone is great, but in terms of audio quality, these are really good for cheap headphones. I'm very impressed. Okay, let's get into a fight. Let's see if I remember how to play this game. Like most cheap headphones, the bass is a little much. Uh, once I'm in the thick of it and there's a lot of different sounds, I can definitely feel the rumble more than I can feel the clarity. Uh, so these are these are still cheap headphones, but they're they're good. They're good. So all in all, these are a really good option. If you have a small head or if you're a young person and a microphone's not particularly important to you, I think for $80, you could do much, much worse. If you're willing to spend a little bit more money, I think you can get a more well-rounded headset. Um, I think like the Ar I'm a big fan of the Arctic ser Arctis series by Steel Series. Uh, depending on your budget, you can kind of just go up and down. I think they're all pretty good. Uh, if not, the HyperX Clouds 2s uh, are very good as well. If you want to buy one of these, uh, check them out in the link description. They're there. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I always have a blast doing these. So if you like this video, give a thumbs up. Uh, if you don't, give the thumbs up. Uh, subscribe. <laughs> Please. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, check out our other videos. We have other headset reviews. I often do mice. Not reviews. Not reviews. Unboxings. <laughs> and I will see you on the next circuit, which will be small.